गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एल पी सवानी रिवर साइड स्कूल डभोली सूरत स्टैंडर्ड एट सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स स्क्वेर्स एंड स्क्वेर रूट्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न अबाउट एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट थ्री अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव ओके एंड अप टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इन द सेकेंड ऑप्शन रेट्स वी स्टार्ट विथ थर्ड ऑप्शन इन थर्ड ऑप्शन 396 is equal to 2 multiply by 2 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 11, which I I found from the prime factorization method. Okay, so I done that is a by using prime factorization method. After that prime making prime factors, I divide both <coughs> both side with the help of 11. So I divide 396 by by using 11. It gives 36. Hence, 36 is equal to I here only two pairs. One is for two and one is for three. Okay. So make the both side square root. So after making both side square roots, I can found the two and three as a product. Okay, so root thirty six is equal to six. For next question, two thousand six hundred forty five is equal to five multiplied by twenty three multiplied by twenty three, which I found from the prime factorization method. Okay, so two six four five divided by five it gives five hundred and twenty nine. So under root five hundred and twenty nine is equal to Uh, I divide both side five because five have no pair, so I want to remove five from the both side. So here twenty three is a pair. Okay, so after dividing two six four five with the help of five, I can found five hundred twenty nine. So five hundred twenty. After that, I put the square root at the both side. Okay, so five hundred twenty nine is equal to twenty three multiplied by twenty three. Okay, so so square root of the 529 is equal to 23. Okay, in this way you you can find the square root. After that, 2800. In the 2800, I have prime factors like 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, 7. By using prime factorization method, you all know about the prime factorization method. Okay, so. These all are the prime numbers, and in sequentially, I use that number to divide one by one. Okay, so two thousand eight hundred divided by seven, because in this prime factors there are one pair of two, second pair is for two, and third pair is also for five, and there are seven have no pair, so I divide seven from the both side, so two thousand eight hundred divided by seven is equal to four hundred. So four hundred is equal to two multiplied by two multiplied by five, which gives twenty. Okay, so there are four hundred is nearer number of that square root. Okay. Then after I take one thousand six hundred and twenty. So one thousand six hundred and twenty have prime numbers two multiplied by two. Three multiplied by three, three multiplied by three, multiplied by five. Okay, these are the prime numbers of that. Sorry, prime factors of that one thousand six hundred and twenty number. Okay, here prime factor five has no pair. Here there is a one pair of two two, one pair of three three, and one pair of three three. But there is no pair of five. So I want to remove five from the this number. Okay. So after that, one thousand six hundred twenty divided by five, I can found three hundred twenty four. So three hundred twenty four is equal to the square root of the three hundred twenty four is equal to I took one two here, one three here, and one three here from these three pairs. Okay, so it is the easy way of finding the square root or root of the given number. Let's we take. Another example. This is the prime factorization method to make 
nearer division which have perfect square okay so we want to find the perfect square number and after that that finding the perfect square number we have to find the square root of that perfect square number which is nearer to our 1620 number okay then the question number 7 in question number 7 the student of the class 7 of a school donates 2401 in all for prime minister national relief fund each student donates as many rupees as the number of student in the class so find the number of student in the class okay first of all student how much money student have denoted okay so they denoted 2401 rupees in the ministers national fund relief fund okay so first of all we have to find the prime numbers for the prime factors of that number so 2401 i divide with that number is 7 so it gives 3343 after that i found the prime factors from this number so let the number of student be x we don't know how many students are there so i just assume number of student as a x so therefore students denoted money is equal to x by x because why i found i assume x by x because there are number of student are x and the number of student in the class so there are many class so if there are uh, number of students and number of class are same so therefore the donate money is, is equal to x by x so x square is equal to 2401 okay so x square is equal to 2401 is equal to x is equal to under root 2401 so the two the square root of the 2401 is 7 multiply 7 multiply 7 multiply by 7 which gives x is equal to 7 multiply 7 which is 49 okay in this way number of students are 49 let's we take question number 8 in question number 8 2025 plants are to be planted in a garden such a way that each row contains as many plants as the numbers of rows the so find of the number of rows and the number of plants in the each row so there are number of plants are i think x, x let assume that number as x n the number of plants are also x so numbers of plants they given us 2025 so let's we take the number of plants is equal to x square okay in previous example we assume the number of students or sorry number of rupees given by the students is equal to x square okay in this example we have to assume number of plants is equal to x square okay whenever the question of squares and square root as a real life example please assume the total price total number total money is equal to x square okay it is easy way to remember how to solve the example so x square is equal to 2025 so x is equal to 2025 in the under root okay so x is equal to let's we found the prime factors of that number so 2025 has a prime factor 3 by 3 3 by 3 5 by 5 here okay so after the after getting the square root of that number is equal to x is equal to let's we put the number from the pairs there are three numbers 3 multiplied by 3 3 multiplied by 3 5 multiplied by 5 so x is equal to there is one number is 3 from the pair second number is 3 from the pair and fifth uh, third number is from the pair is 5 so 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9 9 5 is a 45 hence each row contains 45 plants okay in this way uh, you can solve the any examples question number 9 
is in the homework okay and question number 10 is also in homework let's try that both numbers okay and both question are easy if you try try well if you have any doubt in these two question please ask me i will tell you how to solve that okay so let's try uh, solve that examples and make revision for that okay thank you thank you so much